Well, good afternoon, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here, and welcome to the channel. Um, like, share, and subscribe. We have something, uh, another addition today for the Tacoma, and this is actually because I had ordered the wrong part when I did this initially. Uh, this is another part from Tough Skins. Check them out if you haven't before. It's toughskins.com and use discount code RobMotive10 for 10% off your order. It's awesome. But anyway, I have been uh, adding um, some carbon fiber enhancements to the inside of my truck. And I had bought, uh, or had gotten rather, some a, a piece for the HVAC control area. And the piece that I got, that I ordered, was for a four-wheel drive truck. Well, I don't have a four-wheel drive truck. So, I had to get a different one. And it's here. So we're gonna open this up and then we're gonna go inside and install this. And I'm gonna show you the finished look of the truck because I have everything I think I need now uh, in the way of uh, carbon fiber enhancements, at least on the inside of the truck. So, let's go ahead and uh, open this up. I'm going to be careful so I don't cut anything. So far, so good. I hope. Let's, uh, let's get on the edge here. I'm trying to keep this up here so you guys can see the carnage. If I accidentally cut myself, I apologize. I'm known to do that. All right, we have it open. Uh, no one was injured. This is an injury for uh, from something else. Actually, when I did the cold air intake in the tundra out there, I hurt my thumb. But that's that's in that video. So let's take a look here. All right, check it out. This is the uh, carbon fiber enhancement. We're going to go ahead and put this inside the truck, and then I'm going to show you guys the finished product. Let you know what I think of this stuff real quick. Get the gnats out of my face and uh and we'll go from there stay tuned okay we're inside the truck and of course the first thing that we need to do is clean that off a little bit it's going to go right here in this section around these controls and i'm just going to clean that off real quick with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol so let's go ahead and do that get a little bit on my cloth here Again, you do this just to make sure that you get uh, good adhesion. So let's just wipe this off. So what we have here, as I showed you before, is this carbon fiber piece that's going to go over and around the controls there. First of all, we're going to take it out of the... Uh, holder here and make sure that we have a good fit. Fortunately, I did that before when I had ordered the wrong part. <laughs> so I didn't have uh, a mess, or rather trying to get it off while it was stuck on. And let's see, let's carefully take this off. All right, let's go ahead and do our test fit, make sure that we fit okay. And as is typical with the parts from Tough Skins. It does fit on there perfectly, it would appear. And it does. Awesome. All right, so now we need to go ahead and uh, place this on there. And then I'll come back and show you guys uh, what the inside of the truck looks like now. Dust and all. All right, all done. We have the new insert uh, on the inside, the new carbon fiber enhancement, I'll call it. So we're going to open up the door. We're going to take a look at the inside of my truck now. You guys can see we'll start over here. And I just noticed something. And this is a real benefit uh, of having these overlays. If you see right here, these are scratch marks. And these are scratch marks from my fingernails hitting this plastic. You can see it there. You can see it here 
where I shut the door. Now, the benefit of having these, because you know you're going to be poking at these with your fingernails, right? When you're putting the windows up and down, unlocking the truck, doing whatever you're doing. You're not going to have these ugly scratch marks. Look at that. Um, and I don't have eight foot long fingernails, so it's not like I have claws on the end of my hand. Um, but you're not going to have those scratches on all the surfaces in here um, that you might come into contact with with your fingernails. I like that. But anyway, let's take a look at the finished product. We have the uh, trim pieces here all over on the, uh, on the door, and this is true on all the doors here on the driver's side and over there on the passenger side. And then going from uh, outside in, I guess, we have the trim pieces here around the uh, switches and, and the little cubby here on the driver's side. Also in the HVAC vents here. These are really cool. I really like these. And I love the feel. I've mentioned this before. The feel of these is, I don't know, it's hard to describe. You have to experience it yourself. Um, also, the trim piece around the uh, part above the gauge cluster, I guess. Whatever you would call this part. The hood? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and step inside. And here you can see we have the pieces here on the, uh, or around the Toyota emblem on the steering wheel. Again, carrying through with the trim pieces around the HVAC or the vents inside. Down here, of course, is the new piece I've just put in. Uh, looks like I forgot to stick this part down. Got to do that. Uh, looks awesome on here and again, fits really well as, uh, as all the rest did. Around the cup holder area here in the center, uh, we have all the pieces here covering up some of this chrome a little bit on the edges anyway. We still have some chrome exposed here, of course, but that kind of blends in nicely with the uh, carbon fiber pieces, so I think that looks pretty good. Up here on the glove box, we have more carbon fiber around the handle, and then over here, like I said, on the passenger side, more trim pieces just like over in the driver's area. And then I also uh, got the Tacoma lettering. I love these. These are awesome. They really pop inside the truck. You can get different colors. And while I'm mentioning that, you can get different designs, different colors for all these trim pieces as well. You don't have to go carbon fiber, so you can do something else if you, if you want. But uh, really looks nice inside the truck, I think. And then one other thing I'll point out while we're in here, of course, is the uh, center console cover, uh, the armrest cover, if you will. That was done by Kylan Brimhall. I really like that, and I think it really goes along well with the red lettering on the glove box over here. And then with the stitching and this kind of uh, patterning here in the, uh, in the top, goes along well with the carbon fiber in my truck. Kylan, of course, can do this many different ways, but uh, I just think this is awesome. Anyway, I want to get in here and show you guys the finished product, uh, what my truck looks like on the inside. You can see there are quite a bit of uh, carbon fiber pieces everywhere inside the truck. And the only thing that I didn't get that I don't have yet anyway uh, are the pieces to go over the uh, steering wheel areas here. There are two pieces that go over these areas as well. May get those. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and that would complete everything inside the truck, I believe. So, let me know. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of these. Um, is it too much? Is it not enough? What would you do? Uh, as usual, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to check out these pieces over at toughskins.com. Again, discount code RobMotive10 for 10% off. Uh, and on that center console armrest, if you're interested in something like that, get a hold of Kylan Brimhall over on Facebook. Uh, you can search him on Google as well. You'll find him that way. But he does an excellent job, fair price, and fast turnaround. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a great day. Bye.